let's talk about how you can actually boost testosterone just with consuming more onions. And of course, testosterone is definitely a problem with men as they get older. By the time you reach 40, every year your testosterone decreases by 1%. And testosterone does many things beyond just increasing libido. It's in control of male characteristics like uh, hair on your body. It's also involved in muscle. There are quite a few people that are also going the testosterone route and getting testosterone pellets and taking testosterone injections, things like that, which I'm not crazy about those therapies simply because anytime you start taking a hormone, you inactivate the gland that makes that hormone. So my question is, why would you need to increase the hormone in the first place? What's actually causing a decrease in that hormone? Generally speaking, a much better approach would be more glandular therapy, supporting the gland with certain nutrition or even whole desiccated glandulars, because that way you're supporting the thing that communicates, not necessarily the, the communication between the gland and the receptor, because really the endocrine system is a communication network, um, very similar to neurotransmitters that work through the nervous system. So hormones are created, sent through the blood and get received to create different effects. And so when you tend to bypass mother nature, it always comes with a, a problem or a side effect. But in this video, I wanna talk just about something that won't have any side effects, onions. Now, what does an onion do for testosterone? Well, it, apparently there's something in the onion um, that triggers uh, another hormone called luteinizing hormone from the pituitary. And luteinizing hormone in males um, travels down to the testicles to increase testosterone. So luteinizing hormone is kind of like the controller or regulator of the production of testosterone. And onion based in about 29 different uh, studies uh, was about 75% effective. Onions also give you a lot of additional things. It has properties to help with insulin resistance. It gives powerful antioxidant effects. It's anti-cancer. It can increase nitric oxide, which can help your vascular system. But they have isolated one compound in onion called quercetin. And out of all 28 vegetables that were studied, onions had the highest amount of this uh, compound. And so they've tested this compound um, and they found that it does increase luteinizing hormone. It also helps the body decrease your risk of getting cataracts, allergies. It's good for cancer. It's a potent anti-inflammatory. It can help decrease blood pressure. And it's also a diuretic. So the best way to get this compound, quercetin, out of the onion is to consume it as raw as possible. Now, of course, uh, you're still going to get some if you saute the onion or even cook it as long as you don't overcook it. So here's some really practical ideas on how to get more onions in your diet. I always like to cut a slice of onion on my hamburger and my eggs. Sometimes I do grilled onions in different dishes. Uh, I use onions in guacamole and salsa. Sometimes I put it in my salad. I put it in my soups. So there's many different ways to do this. And it's a real simple, no brainer way to um, indirectly increase your testosterone through increasing the quercetin. But there's many other ways to increase or boost testosterone. And if you haven't seen this video on testosterone, it's essential. I put it up right here.